Hi, I'm Sherry from Cruise Tips TV. Today I've got a few tips about packing. Let's get right to it. I've got a couple of general tips for you and then a few more specific items to consider. My first general tip, go big! If you're driving to the port, grab yourself one or two of those really big suitcases with swiveling wheels. This isn't like flying, where you're charged baggage fees for oversize this and overweight that. This is a cruise. You're supposed to be comfortable. Most times, these big boys slide right under the bed for easy storage on board. With cruising, it makes more sense to take a couple of larger bags than a bunch of smaller ones. You can often pick up these mammoth bags for under $100 in discount stores like Ross, Kohl's, or Marshall's. These larger bags are also great if you plan to take advantage of express debarkation on your last day. The halls and waiting areas can get crowded and hectic. You don't want a bunch of smaller bags slowing you down. And always remember to leave a little extra space in your bags for souvenirs and gifts to take back home with you. And now for general tip number two. Pack light and plan on doing laundry on board. If you like to travel light, then just pack essentials. Your favorite t-shirts and jeans, some pool gear, and something nice for fancy dinners. A couple of days in, you make a quick stop in the laundromat and you're back in the game. Here are a couple of micro tips about the laundry. First, don't plan to go right before formal night. This is a mistake. You'll have lots of competition, especially for the ironing board. Next, you might consider packing a few of these Purex 3-in-1 laundry sheets. They don't take up a lot of space and you get detergent, softener, and anti-static all in one little sheet that can be packed in a Ziploc bag in your suitcase. Some people have said that they have trouble finding these. We find them from Amazon or sometimes Walmart. Okay, now for the more specific items. Take a surge protector, like this. You'll find that outlets are scarce on cruise ships. A nice strip protector helps you stay organized and keeps all of the gadgets charged and ready for use. You might also want to consider an over-the-door shoe hanger. These are super cheap and another great way to stay organized. You can store just about anything you want in these, sunscreen, cameras, sunglasses, even shoes. You'll definitely want to grab an inexpensive fold-up or collapsible laundry basket. It's just nice to keep your dirty clothes separate. And if you plan on doing laundry, these are much better than a garbage bag for carrying back and forth to the laundromat. Now let's talk for a moment about beverages. You'll always want to check the ship's policy beforehand, but most cruise ships allow you to carry on water, soda, and wine. This can be a big money saver. Those sodas can add up fast. And now for my last tip. Don't forget your travel alarm clock. Most cruise ships do not have clocks or alarm clocks in the stateroom, so grab a light travel clock and be prepared for those early excursions. Now, if you decide you'd like to use your smartphone as your clock, make sure you turn roaming and data off. That's it for this episode. If you like these tips, please like and subscribe. We have more tips on the way.